Grizzlies, written by Steve Garcia. Lots of people travel to the big station from London to the North Western Railway at the big station. These engines take the passengers to Vicarstown. Some of these engines aren't allowed to go beyond Vicarstown. The passengers are transferred to local service or the one North Western, which Gordon mainly pulls. Most of these engines from London are mostly diesels, but some are steam engines. Gordon went off to complain how dirty these diesels are, but he also complains about a certain cousin of his from the mainland that takes passengers, Spencer. Spencer is a Sir Nigel Grizzly A4 Pacific, a brother of the Mallard. This made him very snooty, rude, high class, vain, aggregate, and very neglectful. He is owned to the Duke and Duchess of Boxford, but a lot of times he takes passengers from the British Railways to Nafford. It wasn't just Gordon who despised and hates Spencer. Every engine of the Fact Director's Railway also hates him as well. One day, Spencer was talking to Gordon. You know, dear cousin, your controller should have put you on goods work duties. You're so slow when pulling the wire northwester. Oh, I say, protested Gordon. I'll have you know, my dear Spencer. When I was young and green, when you were young and green, interrupted Spencer, you were a disgrace to us Grizzlies engines. I'm surprised that your brothers were all scrap and you weren't, yet still considering us an experimental engine. Now be a chap and shut up while I have a refill on oil and call in a good part before heading home instead of this staying in this filthy wasteland. Gorton was lost for words as Spencer steamed rudely out of the sheds. Fancy young it's having Spencer uninvited to the railway, grumbled Gorton. Whatever will the fat controller do with him barging in? Invading Sodor! If he thinks we're dirty, then he shouldn't come here. That really takes the biscuits. And Gordon thundered down the line, still grumbling about Spencer. One day, Henry wasn't feeling well. His boiler was aching and he can't work today. He usually does his 7.30 local service to Vicarstown. The Wild Northwester follows that train 30 minutes after. When Gordon was back and towards his train, he noticed he was on the wrong platform, where his coaches was on the other side of the platform. What the? Bonded Gordon. Am I on the... No, I'm not. Boy, that signal meant stepping on the job again. My coaches are on platform two. No, Gorson, your coaches are here at Platform 3, said a familiar voice. It was the fuck director. I need you to do Henry's local service while he have his boiler paint sorted out. Local service? Snorted Gorson in alarm. But, but what about my express? Spencer will look after it. He's not here yet, and the war not Western doesn't start until 30 minutes past after you depart. But, uh, but, 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 sir, I, I, uh, uh, you will do as you are told, scolded the fact director, and with that, he walked away. No, <laughs> groaned Gordon. As Gordon departed the 7.30 local service, he was fuming about Spencer. Fancy that silver A4 cousin of mine taking my job while I do a local service? Spencer is basically periodic visiting the island and I shall not stand by while this continues. As Gordon puffed down the line, he heard a familiar whistle. Oh no! He groaned. And there was Spencer thundering down the line and c catching up with his cousin. I have to answer to you, my dear cousin. You really are suitable for a, for a local engine. You really are suitable for a local engine, but you realize you're holding passengers instead of goods. 
This is a mistake that I've ever seen you do. I'll be off with ya! Snapped Gordon. I'm sibling obeying orders, and the sooner as Henry is back, the sooner you'll be taking goods, and I'll be taking the war northwestern since I'm the superior grizzly, interrupted Spencer. Oh, please! I'm much a more superior grizzly than you are, huffed Gordon. In fact, I'm much a faster grizzly than you are. Really? grinned Spencer. Then perhaps we shall have a race. Uh, to Vikistan, we might say? Fine by me, agreed Gordon. And so, the race had begun. Spencer was in the lead, but Gordon was catching up. He was side to side with Spencer. But Spencer had gained control as Gordon struggled on to catch him. But he managed to pass Spencer. Just as the last coach passed Spencer, Gordon found himself slowing down. What? What's happening? We're approaching our next stop. We have to let our passengers get out and some get in at Wellsworth, explained the driver. Bother! Fumed Gordon as Spencer passed by. Gordon can do nothing. <laughs> ta ta, cousin! chuckled Spencer. Better luck next time. I'll see you at the finish line tomorrow. <laughs> but Spencer didn't notice that he overshot a red signal, and he didn't saw a runaway goods train from Percy coming down from Gordon's Hill. When Spencer saw it, his driver slammed on the brakes, but with a smash, the train hit Spencer, bending the rear end of the brake van of the train and derailing Spencer uncoupled from the tender and the coaches, cabbed over wheeled. The guard of Percy's train and Spencer's crew jumped clear before the crash, but were hurt. Other than them, no one else was hurt. Everyone at Wellsworth saw everything, especially Galton, who was chuckling on Spencer's dismay. <laughs> well, dear cousin! He called out, You sure I was a superior grizzly? Spencer didn't say anything. He just lay there on the ground with degradation. The station master ran over to Gordon's crew. Number two is coming in with the goods train from Nafur, and deal two will be coming in from Timmer. I'll have one of them to help Spencer, and another to take the local service that you are pulling. I need you to take the war northwester. Sure thing, said the driver. Percy came to take his train away. Another guard jumped into the brake van while the guard from the runaway train and Spencer's crew were taken to the hospital. Percy agrees to take Spencer's tender out of the way so Gordon can take the war northwester. Soon enough, soon enough, Poco came with the breakdown train. Bear did his goods train while he set out to get the breakdown cranes to lift Spencer and take him back to the other railway. Edward also came in and was quick to move his goods trains onto a siding and to back down onto the local train. Gordon departed all the way to Vickerstown, leaving a very embarrassed cousin of his. Hurry along! Hurry along! Hurry! 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 He whistled. Gordon was making up for lost time. Fortunately, he was on time with his usual schedule and made all the stops he was required for the war northwester. And soon enough, he arrived at Vickerstown just about time. He went for a turn onto the turntable at Vickerstown shed for his return journey back to Nathwood. Just as he departed, Boko passed by with Spencer in tow. <laughs> Laughed Gordon. <laughs> I say, cousin, <laughs> not so dreary. I just, oh, an embarrassment you really are, man. Oh, I disgrace to the Grizzlies. <laughs> oh, perhaps you like to show us again next time. <laughs> Spencer didn't say anything. Still sulking. He hoped there won't be a next time.